great morning. Great morning. Great morning. And welcome back to another episode of Great Morning. I'm your host, Christian Murmur, Merms, Merm Dog, whatever the fuck you want to call me. And to the top right of my computer screen, we have the Fact Queen, my sister from the East, that Puerto Rican mamacita from Spanish Harlem, Stephanie 2.0. How you doing? Thanks, 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 thanks. A bitch is mentally stressed the fuck out. Right wow. I've been in and out of fucking hospitals and shit, and now my grandma is like sick and all this extra shit, and I'm just fucking frustrated with life right now. And oh, I forgot we can't talk about this, but you know what? Free the vagina, free the fucking vagina. <laughs> Stephanie was uh, upset that we uh, talked about certain things in the last episode yeah. without her. Free the fucking vagina. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, you know, other than that, it's 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 been it's just been a fucking week. That's it. It's just you know. We heard you just week. get uh, before we start recording. You know, as everyone knows, we don't just join in real quick and just start. You know, we're in here for a little bit before we start. So uh, Stephanie was sitting there and started uh, started yelling at someone. We uh, we got to see what <laughs> you know Stephanie as an angry mom got to look like there for a second. It was oh, funny yeah. because we are we're four grown men in this <laughs> in this Zoom call. Four, you know. <laughs> Grown men, we've lived our own lives now. You know, we know how the world works, and we were all fucking silent the minute she started fucking. Yeah, I thought I was. Gonna... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh shit. Yeah, we were like, uh oh, someone's getting. Oh man. Yeah, because they fucking stressed me out. Like, oh, can I go downstairs? If I told you no an hour ago, it's not gonna change now. And then I told them that when I'm recording, do not bother me. Like, I don't like to be bothered. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get the chocolate. Yeah, I was gonna say you got the the chocolate. Is it the chocolate? <laughs> right here. It's right here. Like, That's a weapon that. of mass destruction right there. Hell sure. fucking yeah. That's what makes me even more Puerto Rican. The fuck? He's lucky I don't got my fucking vodka on. But then it would have been real worse. Oh fuck! It's they a boomerang. Care. It's a boomerang. It come right back at yeah, you. Right. Yeah, that's what uh, Eddie Murphy said, right? Yep. <laughs> Delirious. <laughs> um, well, Stephanie, I'm I'm sorry I had to go to the hospital so many times, but I'm happy your son's feeling better. You told me that earlier today, and uh, yes, and He's I hope driving me crazy too. Yeah. <laughs> well, I uh, you know that that's better than him being sick. So I'm I'm happy to hear yes. that. Um, and. I, uh, you know, I definitely hope uh, your grandmother uh, feels better soon. You know, uh, give my love to her, of course. Sí. Um, But, you know, Stephanie, uh, we got to we got to we got some more people in this podcast. So we got to go ahead and uh, introduce. Let it roll. <laughs> we, uh, you know, to the top left of my computer screen, we have the boss, the pimp, the CEO, the chief, slightly special himself, Jimmy the Shooter. How you doing today, Buenos dias, man. I'm doing pretty good. It's a pretty good day. I, I'm not going to lie. I woke up a little uh, hungover and oh. getting to work was tough, man. I had to sit down and be like, am I going to make it today? Hmm. It's a Friday. You, you know what I'm saying? I was going to kind of just. What were you doing drinking like that on a Thursday? Exactly. <laughs> problems out here, man. People it's got thirsty, problems. Thursday. Like, you know what, man? Thirsty Thursdays. YOLO, turn up. You know what I'm saying? Came yeah. up with yeah. Back at the casino, so it was like, "Hey, man, let's have some tequila shots." Next thing I know, man, I'm like, "Whoa, shit!" Oh, Uzi. Hmm? But- uh, you know, I love seeing the merchandise too. I forgot to wear my shirt today. I'm sorry, guys, but I, I see you got a great morning sweatshirt on. I really, I do like that color too. The almost like army green there. But you are in San Diego right now. It is midway through May. How are you not sweating and dying right now? What's what's going on? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, man. Those like. A lot of people, I get this question a lot, you know. <laughs> oh, you do, every day. <laughs> I'm doing this in a sweater right now, and I'm going to tell you the key, man, the secret. A lot of people don't know this shit, okay? Okay. Put the thermostat on, like, 72. 72? You can, so, look, man, you can control the climate. You can control the climate inside the walls. Oh, wow. Mm. That's incredible. When did they I, invent that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people don't know that, man. But like, we we be controlling the climate in the walls. That's, I need uh, to get my notepad for that. Yeah, mm-hmm. let's write that down real quick. <laughs> yes, look into I, that. But nah, man, I'm having a really good day. I also just want to say, you know, I really appreciate everybody who's like tuning into our shows lately. Uh, you know, definitely shout out, 
shout out to the people, man, because they're they're showing some love to to Great Morning, and I just wanted to take the time to appreciate that and show some love back, man. So, virtual round of applause for everybody. Yeah, the the, the listeners are are pretty pretty awesome. Uh, as long as they, you know, they're actually listeners and they're not looking for you know pictures of Stephanie's feet and we calling me about it, <laughs> calling me in hoodies for them. Yeah, right. <laughs> rock the gear. <laughs> So as long as they're not doing that, I uh, I love the listeners as well. You know, we we wouldn't do this without any of you guys and the future listeners, of course, too. Well, Jimmy, I'm happy uh, you're having a good day. But, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and uh, introduce another person we got here. We got uh, a special guest co-host. He's been on a lot this season, honestly. Like, we can't fucking get rid of this guy. I mean, like, what's he, what's he doing? He's just hopping on the podcast whenever he feels like it. But that's OK, because we love him. He's our dear friend, our comedian. Chuck, how you doing today, bro? Yo, what's good, everybody? Yo, I was at the casino yesterday. And, <laughs> and right uh, into it. All I right, ran, cool. I ran bad. I ran bad. And I've been in my feelings ever since. Because after I took two losses, I played poker. I took two L's, two buy-ins. I'm walking away with my head down. And some old-ass man goes, you need to work out, buddy. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> In my, in my mind, I was like, oh, my God, I fucking just ate, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bloated, bitch. I, th- I thought you went gambling today because you know what today is, Friday the 13th. Ooh. I yeah, forgot about that. Friday the 13th, y'all. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> 13 black. No, man, I'm trying to make money so I can get into the World Series of Poker. That's that's uh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> you need millions and millions of dollars, I think, to do that. Yeah, man. But I can't do it if I'm running bad. Hey, pawn that chain you got on. Yeah, it's it's silver, man. I get like seven dollars for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chuck, I hope you uh, you know, I hope you win some money soon. And uh, you know, I I, I do want to thank you for being here. Um, so you know, try to win some money yeah. for us as well, though. When you when you get into that uh, millions area, you know. Don't forget about your friends here at Great Morning. You <laughs> the millionaire yeah. sitting there at the poker table with the sunglasses on, you know, so no one can see your poker no, face. I want, I want them to look at me. <laughs> <laughs> you stare into their souls. Yeah. yeah. Well, look at the me. devil's eye while you're playing. <laughs> but All I right, can't man. win. I can't win if people are beating me with King for offsuit. If anybody listens to poker, I stop playing stupid hands. So what is that? <laughs> you don't get belong. That. You're gonna have to get into that because I'm looking to pick up a little bit of techniques myself so I can learn how to run the river. You know, you know that's a good that's segue all they though. Were doing yesterday, they were running my fucking running. That, the river. Oh my god! <laughs> but that's that's a good segue because poker is technically a sport, and I think we're gonna talk about sports on this episode because we actually we have we have a we have a guest. Do you do you guys, Stephanie? Do you think it's time? I think it's time. Jimmy, do you think it's time? No, I think it's time. Chuck, do you think it's time? It's motherfucking time. All right, I think it's time to introduce our uh, special guest of the evening today. We have a uh, fellow podcast tier, as I said it before. Fellow podcast tier to the bottom left of my computer screen, the host of Lookout Sports. You can uh, you know download it, listen to it on all platforms, I believe. I listen to it on Apple. How are you doing today? Our friend G. Guys, I am grateful to be on you guys' podcast. I am truly, truly grateful. Thank you, thank you. Of course, man. We're happy to have you. How you doing, man? I am doing fantastic, man, and trying to get through the day. And I got through the day, mm-hmm. uh, you know, on a Friday the 13th. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. We're happy you got through it. Um, You know, real quick, I want to ask this before we get into everything else. Real <laughs> quick, don't even think about it. What is your favorite sport? Track and field. Oh, okay, cool. Track and field. All right, we'll go back. In, we'll go. We'll go into that in a minute too. Uh, but I want to, of course, know more about you before uh, you know we get into like you know, crazy sports stuff. But where are you from originally, man? Originally from the Bahamas. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Oh wow! I don't when think did, we've ever had someone. That's what'd cool. What did yeah. you say, Jimmy? So when did you leave the Bahamas? Sixteen. Oh, you were sixteen years old. I was sixteen years old. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> I didn't know if he was referring to two thousand sixteen. No. <laughs> <laughs> So you're like, you're from the Bahama Bahamas. Like you have memories. You were raised. Oh, yeah. Like like that was your life. Is it as great? 
is it as great as everyone is like says it is because you know how people go to the bahamas for vacation right right was your life like a vacation or were you in like stab in bahamas you know what i'm nah, saying it, it was crazy man it was crazy in the bahamas like you're going to school you're walking long distances and you have people hanging around the park telling you hey Make sure you say good morning. We like, oh, good morning, because you, you know you might you might get snatched. That, that sounds like the Navy, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real, military. That, that sounds like the fucking Navy. Wait, really quickly, I oh, did I'm not sorry. know. Yeah, hold on. Oh hell no! Oh god, here we go. Clepa, <laughs> 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 We're about to see a through um, a shoe getting thrown. No, so right. I discovered on TikTok that you can take a boat to one of the i think it's bimini beach or something like that bimini, bimini bahamas yeah am i i didn't know that you can take a boat over there you can you can i didn't know that shit that shit yeah is it's really like a two hour ride cat island, cat, cat island too you can cat island yeah i don't know if you guys know about that island but cat island you can. yeah i've heard of that I, yeah I took, a, I took a boat over there to to that island cat island no the bimini no oh, bimini yeah yeah that word what you said <laughs> was that was that was that in the navy? Yeah, it's truck? like no, nah, it's like two hours from Miami. Oh, you yeah. so you just went by yourself? I'm up here in Jacksonville. I mean, I told everybody I went by myself. You know, <laughs> yeah, all right, like, you could do like a whole day trip. It's like a whole day trip if you wanted to. Like you can, you know, do your thing and then come back to the United States. Like that shit is fire. Yeah, <laughs> and it's a it's a cool little boat too. It's like a that it looks out of this. It looks out of this world. Like it's got like two. Things oh, that. I see what you're saying. You know, you know what's crazy? What's crazy is that how um you guys asked me about Bahamas, right? I'd rather go to Jamaica. Oh, mm. I'd rather go to Jamaica, believe it or not. I'd rather, you know, if I would vacation anywhere, it would be Jamaica because Bahamas is more like, you know, what you got there. What happened? What? What? Ba- <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What just happened? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, I'm sorry. So, G, what, what were right, you saying? No, you said the ba- yeah, the Bahamas are more what? Yeah, the Bahamas is more like you know the paradise that that big pink hotel and yeah. You know, there's not much in the Bahamas, but Jamaica you have hills. Bahamas is flat. There's no hills. You know, it, it's a good place to go, but you know, as me being from the Bahamas, I'd rather go to Jamaica. Mm-hmm. You ever been? You ever been to Jamaica? No, I've never been to Jamaica. I have a lot of friends from there, but I've never been. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that's a good so problem. before you uh, uh, came over to the United States, I'm sure I'm, I'm assuming I could be wrong. But before uh, the age of 16, I'm sure you got into watching sports and playing sports yourself or something like that. Right. Yes. Uh, well, when I get, you know, Bahamas have like track and field, basketball, yeah. tennis and stuff like that. And they don't really they don't have a football team in the Bahamas. No. So, really? Yeah, they don't have a football team. Hmm. What sport did you start playing first, and how old were you when you started playing it? Uh, 18. I started to do track uh, in high school, but when I started back in the Bahamas, it was track pretty much. Oh, okay. The 4x4 four, four four or the, the 800 or what? Man, listen, 400, 200, triple jump, long jump, high jump. You know, I was I was just trying to pick up something so I can see if I can master that. But 400 was my main event. Could you ever do the the one where the guys run with the big long stick and then they go flying no, over the thing? No, I, I was afraid of falling back. I see too much videos. I know. I was afraid <laughs> the stick, the stick just breaking and I'm falling right back. I now. know. Yeah. Every time hey, I'm scrolling, that, every time I'm scrolling like through like uh, TikTok or uh, Reel or something, and I see a video starting with someone running with that stick, I always watch it just in case there's some shit that happens. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I do when I find, <laughs> I'm like, nah. It's always yeah. going to be gold or yeah. hopefully gold. They always start out with such strides, you know, like those, like the beginning, like. To yeah, get they, they exaggerate with it. Yeah. <laughs> they look like it's going to go well. Got over. How did they get over? Like when I tried it, when I was in eighth grade, I was in track. <laughs> number number two in uh, in Chicago, fastest in Chicago. Man, Hell yeah. Put that out there. Just put that out there. And <laughs> then uh, I tried that. But I couldn't get over the pole, so I ended up the pole ended up poking me. Oh, yeah! As I was trying to get over, that was like my first time, and I I got PTSD from it. Now I ain't ever gonna try it again. Where did it poke you? 
in my tummy. <laughs> oh, oh then the Vix. Let me tell you guys a quick story, right? So sure. when, I, when, when I got into the U.S. and I, I started to do track in high school, well, I started in middle school, pretty much like seventh grade. Yeah. Um, you know, middle school track. But when I got to high school, right, my coach was like, you want to try the high jump? And then the way he explained that, I was like, I couldn't understand what he was saying. He's saying, try to act like you're a catfish to get over the pole. I'm like, what the hell you want me what? to do? So you want me to run and and pretty much swim? And try to get, <laughs> I'm like, what? So I know what he was doing. What he was saying was run, jump. And then just like wiggle. I'm like, oh, wiggle with it. Yeah, wiggle with it. <laughs> Did it work? It worked. It worked, but I could never get over like 5'10. I was always 5'6. You had like, you had like cats that was like 6'2. I'm 5'10, but to get over that height, I couldn't. So I would just say, hey, you know what? I'm going to start off with 5'6. You have like 6'2 dudes, 6'4 dudes. Hey, let's start off six foot. And I was like, six foot. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, fuck that. I uh, whenever I watch those videos, I feel like it looks more like thirty-five feet. I mean, I doubt it's that big, but it looks like it's incredibly tall for un- some ungodly reason. I, I, I don't know who invented that, but I don't know. I want to know like the first guy who did that was like, yeah. oh, see that shit over there? I'm gonna run with this stick, stick it in the ground real fast, and then flip over that motherfucker. I want to know who invented that shit. I mean, yeah, I want to know who invented that too, because that was, that's not a good to me. I think it's like a bad idea, man. Like an accident, thing <laughs> yeah. like because all the other events you can control your body, you can control yourself, but that one, it's like once you up in the air, it's a wrap, man. If you fall back, that's it. Oh yeah, it's uh, you know they didn't have as much padding back then in ancient mm-hmm. Greece. I'm assuming that's where it probably took place. Um, but getting back to you, so you come to the United States. When do you find yourself wanting to start uh, your own podcast and to talk about sports? You know, when does that happen for you? So that happened when we started watch TV pretty much. Right. So okay. me and my brother, I was like, we saw we saw football on TV and we're like, hey, you choose a team. I choose a team. And it was Minnesota Vikings and Green Bay Packers. So at that time, there was I think it was Randy Moss. We're watching some Randy Moss when he was on the um the Minnesota Vikings. So I chose Minnesota. He chose Green Bay. <laughs> Literally <That's>, rivals. <laughs> yeah, they were right, pretty much rivals. So we're, we're talking, we're talking. I didn't think of no podcast. I didn't know nothing about podcasts. And, mm-hmm. you know, one of my friends, we started to talk, started to talk, right? And I was like, wait a minute. A lot of people are doing YouTube, right? Doing crazy stuff on YouTube and blowing up. We talk about sports all the time. Why not record it? And, and pretty much that's how it started. That's how like a lot of podcasts I feel like talk, uh, happen because like mm-hmm. people are talking, people are laughing or they're having a good time, whatever they're talking about. And they're like, we should do a podcast. Like that's kind of how it happened with Jimmy yeah. and I was Jimmy and I and O'Shea were hanging out at his house. We were talking and he, Jimmy was like, we should do a podcast. And then here we are three years later, and still doing got, it. I, I applaud you guys, man, because you guys are <laughs> consistent. You know, some people start. 10 episode, 15 episode, and they stop. It's the consistency. That's the that's the key right there. Yeah, we uh just... we try to do it as, you know, I mean, not try. We we do it every week unless we know like we're gonna take a break and we we, we tell people if we're gonna take a break after like a special or something. Right. Um, but it's uh, you know, it is difficult sometimes, you know, it's uh because everyone's got stuff going on in their lives. People got other work, people got, you know, kids and shit, you know, just life shit going on, you know, you gotta you, you gotta make time for all that. Uh and the more people you have, the more crazy it gets. So right. it's not it, I if we make it look easy, it's not always easy. But I appreciate that uh that consistency remark, man. I do. Right. But Going back to sports, right? You did track and field yourself. What is a sport, though? And don't like say, don't say like I don't know, like cricket or something, something weird. Right, right, right. That, like no one watches anyway. But <laughs> I want to know your opinion of like let let's let's do six, like the six main ones uh, on like American television. So okay. basketball, football, soccer, baseball, okay. hockey, and uh, golf. Like those okay. six main. Mm-hmm. What is your least favorite of those six, and why? We are live. Damn, 
Uh, I would say my friends are gonna kill me with this because he he's a, ha- a hockey fan. So I would say oh. hockey. Oh, really? Hockey, huh? <laughs> I would say hockey because the only thing I understand about hockey was the video game pretty much. And I have to do mm. research to understand hockey. And he understands hockey more than I do. So I'll choose hockey. <laughs> so hockey for me, I feel like, and this isn't completely true. You can't take them over each other. But to me, it was like, because I played soccer when I was younger. So I got to oh. understand soccer right. when I was, I was never good, by the way. I don't want anyone to think I was like great at soccer. I just <laughs> played it. I was never good. I just happened to play it. Um, but I feel like hockey is a lot like soccer in like the main elements of it and the scoring, like usually the scoring doesn't go super high, like, like football or basketball or something. Right. Um, but the difference, the big differences obviously are the ice, the skating, that fast pace. And what I think I like hockey more for is you get to beat the shit out of each other mm-hmm. in hockey. <laughs> That's what I think is the big difference. While in soccer, if you get kicked, you can fall down, pretend to be hurt, and then the clock keeps running. So, you think? yeah, I, th- I think so. I think <laughs> I, I think they do that. Were you even talking to me? What was that? <laughs> Who are you talking to, Steph? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck the was that? Time, right there? The first time I saw a fight in hockey was amazing because mm-hmm. the guy was already in the box, right? And he right. literally just jumps out the box, man, skates over to the guy, grabs him by the collar, and they just start beating the shit out of each other in the face. And then I didn't know that it was a rule that they can continue to beat the shit out of each other in the face until somebody lets go. Right. I didn't even know that. I think it's, uh, it used to, they might've changed it because now it's not as violent because it's, you know, some of the games play in the daytime and a kid could be watching, you know, all that stuff, you know, make it less violent. But it used to be they, the refs wouldn't break it up until someone fell. So Mm. like if, if they're standing, like, I think you can find one of the greatest fights in hockey. I'm pretty sure you can find on YouTube. Like these guys are just like rock 'em sock 'em robots punching each other in the face for like two minutes straight, and like the refs didn't stop it because no one fell. And the minute someone fell, the refs go in there, break it up, it's over, get to your penalty boxes or whatever. Let's start this fucking game up. But it used to be crazy in hockey. Like my dad used to tell me because my dad's a big hockey fan, and right. he used to tell me he'd go in like the early '90s to like Devils games and shit, Devils versus Rangers or Flyers, right? These motherfuckers, yeah, they, these motherfuckers, if they got into like a, a fight, like the stands would break out. People would be throwing like beer cans and their food oh, down so to the I ice ring. Know that happened. What? He's, yeah, people would go crazy. It was so violent. You know, people say boxing is violent, but at least you know what you're getting with boxing. You know, people are going to be punching each other in the fucking face with that. Hockey was like, all right, we're in an argument. My teeth's out. Someone just threw a beer can at the back of my head. What the fuck's going on? So. <laughs> I always like that a little more about hockey. So, but why they, they, they um I'm sorry. No, 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 go ahead. They they had um they had a video game where you can actually fight too in in hockey. It was like a PlayStation game back in the day where like once you um I guess start arguing or whatever, start fussing, <laughs> yeah. you have just a segment just dead boxing just I, I, that's crazy. I didn't even I didn't even know that they had a rule on what what you guys said earlier about whoever falls down, then they stop it. I didn't even know that. Yeah, like I said, I, they might have changed that. But I'm sorry, Jimmy, what were you saying? I was going to say that's part of the culture, man. It's part of the culture of hockey. You ever, uh, you know, as kids, you ever get, and I remember, this might be a little bit thrown back, but in the 90s, man, like I remember street hockey was mm-hmm. everywhere. People would always move the goals into the street, right? And people would get on rollerblades and everybody, you know, would play hockey. And it was honestly just an excuse to just fight each other. I see. I see. <laughs> that's that's a good excuse. Man. Set the nets up, put on the skates, and now we're just being part of the game. Like, let's just punch each other in the fucking face. Right. Just some uh, straight up kids street brawling just going a on. Reason, a reason to fight, right? <laughs> <laughs> just some neighbors like slowly watching it from their window, just drinking a beer like this shit's oh, awesome. Man. Just watching this shit. All right. You know what? I got a question for you. And it's kind of a game, but kind of just a question. If you could categorize all four of us, what's so funny, Stephanie? What the fuck was that? Huh? What's <laughs> so funny? Like it's a question, kind of a game. Like, you know how I talk at this point. You've been doing this for a year. You know I fucking I'm all over the place. This is how I do it. <laughs> yeah. That's why I love you guys. You guys are, you know, beam, beam, beam. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> my my mind runs like a fucking squirrel in a fucking fish tank or something. I, man. I don't know what the fuck's going on. A squirrel there. in the fish tank. You saw like it's fucking. Like, it's like, trying to fish swim. Fish get the fuck out. You know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. You didn't like my metaphor. Again, I had to think of it on the spot. You know, I can't be Shakespeare all the time. (laughs) But 
What? It was beautiful. Go Thank ahead. Thank you, Jimmy. See, <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy he supports me here. Ass. Jimmy uh, supports me here, Stephanie. Jeez. Yeah. Um, right. If you could categorize us with one sport, what do you think the sport would be that we would play? If you could have like Jimmy play a sport, me play a sport, Chuck play a sport, Stephanie play a sport. Just, just looking at us and hearing how we talk. Okay. And not Bro, saying that we ever did play these. Maybe we right. did, maybe we didn't. But what sport? What and you can choose <coughs> any sport. Like you can say bowling, whatever you want. Right, right. I'm not going to I'm not going to be racist here. Sorry, before you start, I'm not going to be racist here, but <laughs> a little bit about the profiling that's going on over here. You know, like if you look at that guy over there based on how he <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say I it's not racist. It's more just like us, you know? We're a rainbow here. We got a bunch of fucking different kinds of people here. All right, it's not racist. Uh, Let's just get fight. cricket out of the it, game. It, it, right is street now. fighting a street fighting a sport? Because I would say Stephanie street fighting. UFC. No, <laughs> but you could, like Jimmy said, I think you could say UFC or boxing or karate. Maybe I don't know. Right. Let's get cricket out of there. No cricket. <laughs> Man, I don't know how to play cricket. Let's see. I would give um, Steph, I would say UFC for her. Okay. UFC I would say UFC. for me. Yeah, US, you, you, yeah, UFC. I'll say you, UFC. I'll say Chuck. Chuck. Chuck more. Chuck could be a boxer, man. He could be a <laughs> Hell yeah. Shoot the shot for, for WWE, though. You'd have been right. <laughs> Close. Oh. And a yourself, a wrestler. I would say baseball. Okay. Makes sense. And my man... I say soccer. Okay. I say soccer. Right. Now, guys, is there any truth to that? Did you ever play any of those sports? Did you ever take a liking to any of those sports that he just mentioned you with? Wait, I well, do. you called me a what? Wait, what was I? UFC. MMA, an MMA fighter. Well, <clears throat> fighter. And, well, I don't know. I don't think I ever, like, MMA'd anybody, but I, I, I <laughs> did fuck up a few bitches in my life. <laughs> you, know, you know why I say that? I would think that you're just like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right so pretty pretty good guess for stephanie definitely pretty good guess for stephanie all right um chuck is, did you ever did you ever do boxing or anything like that yourself um i did combat sports oh for sure yeah we we we're wrestling and then i trained for professional wrestling you know don't you dare say that for it <laughs> and uh i got i got like this boxing bob and weave thing in my home gym i guess that counts mm. what was i mean yeah you could what was the F word? Was that your opening line? Like, if you enter the ring, like, don't you dare say the F word. <laughs> don't say the F word. When we talk about professional wrestling, you know, you don't say the F word. I'm going to say it just one time. It's fake. Wrestling's not fake. All right, I'm going to say it two times. <laughs> no, the, the real wrestling is, it, like, the, when you're in the leotards and stuff, like, that's... It's called a singlet. Real. It's called a singlet. A leotard goes up the ass. The, uh, yeah, the, the oh, thong or whatever you guys are wearing. Yeah, that's, no, that's we're not. real. <laughs> Come on, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Okay, <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> singlet. <laughs> and then you know the you know Raw or uh, what, what was the other one? The they the, Smackdown. That's Smackdown. Smackdown. Yeah, it's uh, not fake. It's not fake. That's, that's not, not fake. fake. No. Yes, it is. I think it's staged. No, it's I said let's not say the f word, and we keep saying. All right, it's yeah, staged. It's then it's, it's staged. <clears throat> the story is. It's choreographed. It's not choreographed either. It's a story. And then they actually duke it out. So oh, Chuck, Chuck's a big wrestling cool. fan. Hmm, big wrestling fan there. All right, so pretty close okay. with him. This is a, you know, only thing it is, is Steph. It's just like yo, you're gonna win at the end. But all the pain, all the action is real. I can give you a run for your money in this match, and then you just do your finisher one time, and then you hey, won. I mean, hey, but I um, whooped your ass. Chuck, I got a story for you guys, right? Okay. I met a wrestler in New York. So I went to New York and we we're staying at a hotel, right? And yeah. yo, I've been watching wrestling, you know, in the Bahamas would see wrestling. And I like Goldberg, Bill Goldberg, right? Yep. And who walks in the in the in the hotel to check in? Goldberg. Fan. Damn, Goldberg, Goldberg. I walk up to Goldberg. Goldberg's drunk. I'm like, <laughs> Goldberg, yo, let me get your autograph. Hey, move along, kid. I'm like, damn, man. This guy crushed my dreams, man. I always damn. wanted to be Goldberg. I was like, damn, Goldberg. Come on, man. But hey, listen, he had a good time. He was drunk. I I, I say nothing bad after, you know? Damn. You, know what they say? you don't want to meet your heroes. 
Oh man, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> that must be yeah. true. That sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> I was like, that's that was like, I'm like, oh, cool, you got to meet him, and then like, oh shit, all right, well, Goldberg, get, probably, get my beer. Kid. Goldberg was probably a heel at the time, and he had to keep up with that. That's the only, that's probably the only reason because Goldberg's a cool dude. That's before he. That's <clears throat> that's actually recent when he before he came back to wrestling is when I met him, and when he did his oh. second, when he did his return, that's when I met him, and then you know, I guess you know, it was hangover. I understand, you know. <laughs> Jeez. I'm hurt by it, but Maybe I Maybe he was coked up. Maybe he was coked up. <laughs> well, I mean, that's still, I mean, you can be coked up and not be an ass, you know? You could be coked up and definitely be an ass. I, I, my cousin at the time, I told him, hey, listen, I don't think you need an autograph. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? Goldberg does have a schnoz that he probably would you know accidentally sniff coke and not even know it. He you never know. He just, him, he her, you sniff know up the room. It's that big that he just walks around and cocaine accidentally gets up there. That's, that's what, what you're saying. Yeah. Lawyer, at least. <laughs> that's what. Yeah, that's what he tells the lawyer. It was like it was an accident. I swear, I'm just walking around, it's floating in the air. I swear. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, so uh, real quick then. So Jimmy with soccer is any of that remotely close? Did you do I played anything? center in soccer? Yeah, I did play you soccer. Did. I was a really? little. Like, oh wow. Well. I'm yeah. gonna start my own psychic hotline, guys. <laughs> wow, this is doing pretty well. You. So how long did you play soccer for, Jim? Uh, two years. Wow. Yeah, I was a little kid, man. A little soccer. Oh, <laughs> oh I, thought, I thought you were like talking like high school or something. I was pretty fast. Was pretty fast. Now I'm super trash, man. I'm super trash. But it's, it's crazy to me whenever I see people play soccer. Like I have a homie, man. He's like extremely good at soccer. And, you know, we're all like, you know, having like, a, you know, like a game or whatever after work. Everybody from work's coming over. You know what I mean? We're playing a game and this kid kicks the ball and it goes like one way, but then like does this amazing curve like around everybody and goes into the goal. And I was like, holy shit. He's like, yeah, man, I, I wanted to play for college. I'm like, what are you doing in the military? Bro? This is amazing. Can I ask you a question? Because you, you just said something that I've always wanted to know. How the fuck do you kick the ball and it, it makes that curve? Like, what yeah. is, it, is it like please. a specific angle? Yeah, please answer that, man. I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> you got to kick it right. You got to kick it under and then put spin on it. And then your leg kind of, it's the same as bowling. Think of bowling. You know how do you, you get the mm, Do you follow it with like your toes? Like it hits the inside and then you follow it with your toes that makes the spin? But you want to kick it on the inside of your foot. But That's also, what I'm saying. Like you, you hit it on the inside and then spin it with the toe. I called right? the guy up because I was never good enough to do it. My shit was... <laughs> <laughs> I had to get a three shot to the goal. I'm like, let's get it. Boom. Just kick the fuck out the ball. Well, hell yeah. All right. All right. Your guesses are good. And uh, finally with me, your guess was also correct. I did play baseball through mm -hmm. the end of middle school and the beginning of uh, high school. Uh, you would have also been correct if you said football for me, too, because I played Ooh. football in high school as well. What? So, no way. Yeah, I did. I bet you can't guess what position I played either. Safety. I'll say right receiver. He was a corner. I was going to say linebacker. He played safety. Yeah, you, play, you either play right receiver or you were DB. You want to hear? Which yeah. is also yeah. a safety. I was QB. Wow! Oh, oh. Big skin out there, boy. <laughs> <laughs> now, again, like I said with soccer, was I good? Not really, but I was the best of everyone that tried out. So, you know, they had me for go. a little bit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's, you know, I could I could throw. I could throw a football, though. I nice. gotta, oh, gotta so go. you go with your hands. Yeah, I'm good with my hands. Yeah, thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> I am. I'm great with them. Um, but you know, uh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, speaking of being good with uh, our hands, uh, I, I think uh, I think we're at uh, a mark here. I think we're uh, we're at a we're at a certain time. I think it. I wait, Stephanie. Do you do you think it's time? I think it's time. Jimmy, do you think it's time? I know it's time, player. Chuck, do you think it's time? Oh yeah, it's time. Oh, all right. Well, I think it's time uh, for all of us to uh, do uh, everyone's favorite segment we do here at Great Morning. And that is, of course, the word of the day. Word. 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 Word of the day. Oh, so how the word of the day works, G, right? Uh, so Jimmy uh, there, can you see uh, Jimmy's screen? I'm working on it. I'm giving it. <laughs> he's, he's getting it. But can you see, <laughs> can you see his screen, though? Yes. 
All right, great. So in a minute, he is going to show you uh, the big old dick. That's what we like to call it. It's the big old Webster's Dictionary he's got right there. It's been passed down in his uh, family for, I think, over a thousand years. Um, it's signed by Webster himself. So it's a very old, delicate dick. We call it the big dick in the room. What he's going to do, he's going to open it to a random page. He's going to put his finger down on it. He's going to lift his finger up. Whatever his finger landed on will be your word of the day. Ooh. Now, with season four of Great Morning... We have all of our guests use that word in a sentence of Ooh. their own choosing. You got to create a sentence, right? And at the end of the season, like we did with la the last season, we take all of our guests that gave us a word of the day and we grade them based on how funny it was, uh, how creative it was, and if they use the word correctly. So when Jimmy reads the word of the day, he's going to spell it and he's going to give the definition. And if it's an archaic word, because the big old dick is so old, I will give a uh, modern day definition. Yeah. Do you understand the rules? Yes. All right. Fantastic. Jimmy, whenever you're ready, my friend. All right. Let's get it. Let's get it. See these psychic powers come up into play. What letter is it going to be on? I don't know. No idea. It's always I'm random. Asking, I'm asking, I'm asking, I'm asking our honorary guest here. He's got some crazy oh. insight to life. <laughs> Stephanie guest. What letter are we on? I will That's say a M. I hope it's not an X like oh. Stephanie says. Those are the hardest. Oh. It's J. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's not terribly far off. All right. Are you ready for your word of the day? I'm ready. Word of the day. Jab Jabberwock. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Nice. Jabberwock, a mythical monster in Through the Looking Glass. J-A-B-E-R-W-O-C-K. <laughs> Mermzy, can you do us a favor? You want me to go ahead and pull up a picture of a Jabberwock real quick? Hold on. Let me get uh, yeah, yes. you can or I can. Um. It's yeah. So you said it was spelled J A B B E R W O C K, right? Yeah, dude. Yes, that is. Uh, so what I have here, it is a nonsense poem written by Lewis Carroll about the killing of a creature named the Jabberwock. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And that's the creature right there. That's the noise it makes. <laughs> <laughs> This is the beast right here. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Look at this thing. Oh, that's a cool word of the day, man. That's like a tattoo. Yeah. yeah that's imagine walking into your kitchen and seeing that in there. Oh, shoot. Oh. What? Yeah, this thing's nice. Beware. That's, that's fire. Cool. Oh, my God. That looks like one of the creatures from Stranger Things. Oof. Mm. It looks like a mix of like a dragon and like a, what do they call those birds? Those mythical birds. Why we got to bring birds into it? Chicken heads. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look at it, Stephanie. It's got wings. I mean, it's just like pretty much a big evil bird when you think about it. No, it's not. It's a fucking dragon. All right. I still wouldn't want to see that thing flying around. All right. No, I well, either. Let's get into it. Let's let's get the opportunity. All right. Yeah. G, are you uh, ready to give us uh, your sentence? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're ready when you are. Jabberwock. <sighs> All right. Solid. Let's get yeah. a round of applause. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, give, me, give him a second. Give him a second. In the medieval days, I conquer a Jabberwock. Hell yeah. Yeah, all right. Hell nice. yeah, man. All right. Well, that was, uh, of course, G's word of the day. Um, thank you for doing that. I know uh, I know, it's always difficult being put on the spot like that, but oh, yeah. you know, it's okay. We do it with all of our guests. Chuck's done it twice now, right, Chuck? That's right. I also uh, deserve the, the championship, but we're not going to talk about that. Uh, we're not hey, listen, listen, hold up, guys, <laughs> guys, I have a real important question for G. Uh -huh. What the fuck did you think about that fight with um Canelo and, and this dude? Let's talk about it. How, how did you feel about that? I wanted Canelo to win the fight, but I felt like Why? Canelo went too far. Like he, he he went too much about above his, you know, class boxing. Like, come on, man. Like, I know you're collecting titles, collecting belts. But that man put work on him. That man, he he got he got he got the fight. I can't I can't, you know. I like Canelo, but that boy won. Was he talking? No, about, he definitely uh, did. All yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Well, he he put in some work. He kept hitting them. He kept scoring points. Mm. Yeah, he 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 put the beats on him strategically. Mm -hmm. Canelo got frustrated. I never seen Canelo frustrated. Yeah, like no, he definitely did. And not only that, but like I also felt like Canelo was definitely like I feel like he I feel like Canelo it has gotten too cocky and like, yeah, nobody can like fuck with me. No one, yeah. You know what I mean? 
mm -hmm. it was like, all right, you, one day you're going to meet your match. And that day he met his match because it was like, because honestly speaking, when like, first of all, like they like that, that entire fight, like he was trying to knock him out so fucking bad. Yeah. And it's like, bro, like chill the fuck out. Get your points in. Yeah. Get your points in. Yeah. But no, it's like he wanted to knock him out. And this is why he lost. I agree with you because you get to a certain point at any sport, you still got to maintain that hunger. And mm. I felt like there... Right. He's like, you know what? He the other boxer is gonna be afraid of me. I'm just gonna walk him down, box him, and win mm -hmm. the fight. And that's where he lost. Yep, I agree. The crazy thing is, is when you pull a move like that, right? Like if you win, you're a hero. Right. If you lose, you know, what I mean, your stock just dropped, and and that sent him down the ranks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about that other fight? Was it um? Was it Devin Haney? Was it Devin Haney? I don't. I, wait, did Devin? I don't think Devin Haney fought yet. I don't think so. That fight is what, coming up soon. Wait, who was it? There was one right before um, the Canelo fight. Oh, I think. Um, what was the fight? I know which one you're talking. Was it the Spence? Are you talking about the Spence fight? Yes, Spence. Yes, yes, yes. He gave him the business. Yeah, that man had black eyes, man. That man was like, oh, I can't see. <laughs> God. What? Yeah, that that boy, that boy hit hard. That boy hit hard. He gave him that body work, boy. Oh, oh yeah, he God. got some. I think he had some some ribs, some crack ribs. Yeah, he broke two of his ribs. Yeah, he he got work. And his 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 eye. That's a good fight. He fucked him yeah. up. That's a good fight right there. He yeah. fucked him up. Spence had not no like you see Spence. Spence could see. He was like, hey, he I'm was just chilling. Trying. Yeah. <laughs> All he was like, oh, I can see, I can see, and boot that motherfucker. Go, you couldn't see shit. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, speaking of boxing, that was one of the questions I had for you. Actually, uh, that's a good segue. Is this is the greatest question? This is the greatest sports question. Well, maybe sports question, but definitely one of the greatest boxing questions of all time. And I want to hear not just yours, but you know, everyone else can, of course, you know, say their own opinion. Who would win in a fight? Yep. Yeah. Mike Tyson in his prime, or Muhammad Ali in his prime? Oh, they're in the ring. Both of them in their prime, top of their game, fighting each other. Who's going to win? Oh, that's tough. Man, you know what? I'm going to say, I'm going to just say, I'm going to say Mike, man. I agree. I yeah, think, I I think Iron Mike would say. Yeah. I'm with you guys. I'm with you guys. Mike Tyson. Just, Mike's, Mike's whole mentality, man. He was an absolute animal whenever yeah. he was. Yeah, he was a beast. He, was a fucking yeah. problem child with a chip on his shoulder that was dealing with shit in the ring with every single fucking fight. And I agree. Mm -hmm. So fast, so powerful, bro. The way he moved, like Ali can move. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah. Technical as fuck. Like he can get in there. He's got the, he could throw the shoulders. You know what I mean? But Mike was just a fucking train. Yeah, that man was. Yeah, a no, he's Mike Tyson was a problem back. I then. wouldn't want to get punched by Mike Tyson right now. Like, yeah, I mean, you know, older, <laughs> like, yeah. let alone in his prime. I wouldn't want to get punched by Mike Tyson that ever. Like, yeah, the moment, the moment I, I get in the ring, that yeah, the moment yeah. I get in the ring, I would tell my trainer, hey, throw in the white towel because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Chuck, what do you think? If, if Mike Tyson had RA in his wrist, yeah, he could hit me. If he had oh. arthritis, yeah, <laughs> what? Come why on. do you he say that? Hit me that hard. He got arthritis in his wrist, he ain't gonna hit me that hard. Didn't Mike Tyson just hit somebody on the airplane? Yeah, he did. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. That's what I was yeah. just saying. Like I like he just he just fucked somebody up not too long ago. You're somebody. always hearing stories about Mike Tyson getting into random fights. Like who's trying to pick a fight with this guy? Or is it him? Is he the aggressor? I you know, I have no idea. Right. No, I think I think people are just so like hungry for clout that they'll do absolutely anything and they'll just try to poke a sleeping bear and then be like oh my god i can't believe you hit me well motherfucker you were here taunting me what the fuck you thought this was i mean yeah you poke a sleeping bear you can't play dead <laughs> oh my god yeah. exactly but see the thing about the thing about mike tyson now is like he's actually on a very like peaceful journey within himself it's like he's calmed his beats yeah. like he's into psilocybin and mushroom spiritual journeys like positive energy yeah. you know what mm -hmm. i mean somebody really had to be pushing that motherfucker's buttons for him to like that's true when you're, when you're a professional boxer a lot of people don't know this but you your hands are registered are licensed yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. those are registered weapons so that is a straight federal offense like you can't just be knocking somebody out randomly so for fun right <laughs> somebody like is that, a, is that a real thing though 
I always hear that. Like they, you, you there's these are licensed weapons, but like, like, is that real? Like, is that a like who do you no, like? It is. Yes. Yeah, you go to the DMV it, and be like, yo, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. I always thought about that too. I always thought about that. Too, man. That's uh, hands are considered lethal. That's but it, you know, Chuck's got a good point because you know, they actually made that joke. I don't know if anyone saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, they made that joke because Bruce Lee's in that movie and he okay. says, He's like, Oh, I can show you guys some moves, but you know, I, I could get in trouble because I could accidentally kill you guys because mm. my hands are considered uh lethal weapons. You know, if if I accidentally kill you, then I could go to jail, and then Brad Pitt's character's like. Yeah, anyone will go to jail for accidentally killing someone. It's called fucking manslaughter. Like, oh. it's not just you. Like, what are you talking about? So, you know, I, I don't know if you can actually... Let's see. Say that? I, I, I'm going to say that that's not actually a <clears throat> law put in place for people. I think it's just understood that, like, listen, if you get into a fight with Mike Tyson, all right, and Mike Tyson gets a hit on you, it could kill you. Because it's fucking right. Mike Tyson, you know. It's not, you know, fucking Pip Squeak down the street or your your nosy neighbor. You know, it's fucking Mike Tyson. <laughs> so maybe don't fucking fight a heavyweight champion. You know. Okay. Well, I just, just want to know that. because yeah. if that's the case, like, it is like if you license, you have to get license for your fist. That means somebody <laughs> has a seat at the city council for this shit. Yeah. So, yes. And I want to run for office. I want to run. For <laughs> what we got? This is what we have. Okay. Registered hands for boxing. Okay. A little bit of back <laughs> cap. All right. Okay. Professional boxers do not have to register their hands as lethal weapons. There mm-hmm. isn't any governing body or law that requires it. But the hands of a boxer could be considered a deadly weapon in a court of law if they are used to inflict serious harm. Mm-hmm. And any man that's been practicing a punch for fifteen years to cause harm uh, probably will inflict some serious harm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hmm. That makes sense. So I guess no, but yes. Right. Guess, yeah. Right. So like if OJ Simpson tackled you and then like, you know, stabbed you, does he get to say like the tackle was the deadly weapon or <laughs> would they go with the knife? <laughs> well, o- OJ, OJ was a running back. You don't know how to tackle. Or yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure he, I'm sure he, I mean, you know, if you're playing football your whole life, I'm sure he's learned a thing or two, but, you know, I, I couldn't make a point with the running back position. So, yeah, but yeah that's a, that's an interesting, so that's an interesting fact. If a fact. professional ping pong player hits me with a ping pong. <laughs> yeah. How many right. t- yeah. Is that considered a lethal weapon? If right. it does serious damage to but me. Can a ping pong ball kill you? Mm. Like how hard hey, would it? A hit from a ping pong ball need to be to kill you. It you only ever got a ball hits. coming to your face that fast? Yeah, but it's Definitely. like a little plastic thing. If a perf- never mind. <laughs> it's, it's yeah, I know. I get it. it's it's a sport. I mean, they, they play. Good or, if, or if a bowling ball fall on my foot. <laughs> yeah. Professional bowler. Oh, that made me cringe just thinking about that. Ugh. Right? Oh, that shit would suck. Hey guys. Bowler bowls a ball at me. <laughs> yeah. What step, guys? Since we're here talking about facts, I think it's time for some facts. Oh, I think that was a great segue. I was hoping you heard the fact thing. That is a great <laughs> segue into another uh, favorite segment of ours, uh, Stephanie's Facts. Stephanie, you got some motherfucking facts for us? I got some motherfucking facts. All right, let's hear some fucking facts. Let's hear that jingle. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I think it's time. I think it's time for Stephanie to give us some Oh yeah, baby. All right, Stephanie, let's hear some facts. And you know what? I really hope, really hope they're sports facts. That would be really cool. Oh, no, they're actually disgusting. <laughs> okay, no, I, I was waiting. There, I was waiting for her to be like, "No, I'm not fucking doing that." <laughs> well, it's your segment. You do what you want. <laughs> yeah. So, did you know by mixing alcohol with your diet with diet soda instead of regular soda gets you drunk faster? What? Without the sugar, alcohol is absorbed from the stomach into the bloodstream faster. 
That's fucking awesome. That's one of my favorite facts you've ever told, actually, because that <laughs> makes sense. Because I've recently been drinking gin and tonics, but I've been getting diet tonic. And I'm sitting there drinking it, and I'm thinking to myself, like, mm, this diet tonic tastes better than the real tonic. I'm going to keep doing this. But I'm actually, <laughs> now that makes sense. I'm just getting drunk faster. All right. Yep. That's All great. right. So here's another one. Well, actually, that wasn't disgusting. But, you know, it's, it's like a mixture. Okay. So anyway, so if a shirt shrinks, put it in a bowl of ice water and one cup of hair conditioner, and it will regain its size. Hey, what? Notepad. I'm going to get my notepad on Yeah, that. take out, take out the notepad. <laughs> Holy shit! These are the I think these my so far these are some of the best facts we've gotten. Yeah, yeah. that sounds like booty. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, I always throw this shirt away. Disgusting. <laughs> Ready? All right. So check this out. So the McDonald's McRib is restructured meat produced made from pig innards, tripe, heart, and scalded stomach. Yeah. I don't care. I like that shit. Tastes good. It. McDonald's. Ew, that's fucking gross. I know I it's bad know. for me. I don't I'm know. Si- I'm sick of people telling you McDonald's is bad for you. I've known that since I was a kid. All right. I know it's bad for you. Don't eat it all the time. I don't need to know what's in that you shit. Know, you <laughs> guys know I started with stories. I got another quick story. Hell yeah. Let's hear it. News came out on where I was at a McDonald's I used to go to, and there was friendly rats, not small mice, big rats. Ooh. I'm never going there. Yeah, no, that that is a no for me because they'll shit all over the food. That's the problem with the rice. Right? That's that's yeah. what you don't want. So if you're eating that burger, yeah, mm, it tastes good. Mm, maybe that might. Be <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you never know if they picked up that frozen burger and they're like, oh, what's it? Just know. wiped it off real quick, threw it on the grill, you know. Never know. So yeah, all right, Stephanie. Yeah, how about right. uh, yeah some more? Over one thousand four hundred and fifty species of bacteria are living in your belly button right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know that yeah that makes, that's that, makes sense. that one makes sense yeah yeah detox right yeah, detox. if you detox what happens <laughs> what if you constantly just keep putting soap in your belly button just like every right? hour you're just digging <laughs> soap in there you know with as many live all right ready for another one because this is fucking dirty too okay so did you know that chemicals bugs bone pick oh hell fucking no shut the fuck up <laughs> anyway, that's God. That's not that's not getting edited out. That's staying. <laughs> that makes it anyway. so natural. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> anyway, so look. So chemicals, bugs, bone, pig snouts, metal, rodent parts, pig anuses, and plastic have all been found in hot dogs. Mm. Mm. So that makes sense. That makes sense, oh, but again, I like hot dogs, so there's a TikTok of this guy who's got this really powerful microscope and he cut a hot dog in half and put it under the microscope. And there were literally like white tick looking things crawling all over it. Oh yeah. You told us that oh, on uh what was that two episodes ago? You yeah. yeah. So gross. It's yeah, in my that's nasty. Throat. Oh my god. I have another one. <laughs> oh my god, holy shit. Yeah. Yes. Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold the fuck on because this shit got me fucked up right oh, now. Oh snap. Up. Okay, well, anyway, did you know that Steve Irwin's body was fed to crocodiles upon his request? No way. It's a lie. Yeah. I don't know who family that is. The family Steve Irwin was-, was the crocodile hunter. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah. I- Damn. That must have been painful for the family. Yeah, what the fuck? Why would you? Uh, the yeah. feed it because he food? loves crocodiles. And where can you do that legally? Are you sure yeah. that's true? Like, how do you go somewhere and be like, listen, here's a body. Here's my father's body. And we're going to feed him to these crocodiles. I feel like that's illegal. Like, you couldn't even do that. Yeah, that's... Damn. I just want to know when the video is at so I can see it. Who's videotaping? <laughs> like, who, video- <laughs> who videotapes that? Like, no one videotapes a funeral, let alone, like, all right. You are a bold-faced yeah. liar. No, people do no, videotape people funerals. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, have you seen? Wow. Have I you hope seen these funerals true. now? Yo, people, there's this one video of this dude at his funeral. They got him propped up in a chair, feet crossed, and his, he got sunglasses on. He's just chilling. And they having a barbecue. Damn. And he just yeah. like, it's like he's sitting there. Wasn't Yo, there a rapper that they propped up? There was a rapper that they propped up on stage. Yeah, they had a rapper. Yeah. During a show. And he was just a dead body on stage hanging out. Tupac? <laughs> Hold up, guys. Does anybody here wear headbands? Uh, uh, Are we that much of a thug? I just want to. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking headband. 
and it's not thuggish, all right? I don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, headbands are made out of condoms. What? Wow. Use condoms? Okay. I don't know if it's... Are they like... Reci- that's, that's a serious question. I'm not even being funny. Like, do yeah, they recycle that's... used condoms and use Yeah, them? it's... it's- Fifty percent of headbands are made from recycled condoms. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? Wow! Oh, <laughs> now I'm thinking about do rags now. now. What about do rags? <laughs> you got a you got a guy's nut on your head. Jesus! Right? Christ. Ah! What about do rags? Oh, I don't want to know. Who's <laughs> running this factory? Who's over yeah. here? Like, listen, guys. All right, we got we we got a problem on our hands. Okay. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> use condoms in the back. The storeroom. Yeah. We're gonna try that. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That reminds me of that epic that that scene in Friday and next next Friday when Uncle Elroy pulled that rubber out of the pool out of the jacuzzi. Oh he was no. like, I guess I left that in there. He was like, You can use it anytime. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. oh my god. You know, I've never seen any of the also, sequels. I've only seen Friday. All right, I'm sorry, Stephanie. Um, go ahead. Yeah, really quickly. So did you know that when you're on a roller coaster, right? Your organs move. I have heard that. Mm. I did hear that one. That makes sense. Yeah. I heard that one. So when you know, you know, when when you feel in that, that's because you know your shit is moving. Mm. Mm. Yeah, since mm-hmm, I'm fat, mm-hmm. I guess my stuff moves what? a little bit more. They had nothing to say with your gut. It was your insides. Yeah, I didn't call you fat, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're not fat, Chuck. Come on. To that old fuck. I don't. Fuck him. Fuck okay. him. God, Chuck, you in boxing man. shape, man. Yeah, fuck him. Listen, you out here fighting for your life. Fuck what they got to say. <laughs> all right, Stephanie, all right. how about uh, three more? All right, all right. Let me see, because this this is some disgusting facts that you won't oh. believe that is true. All right, so did you know that the Romans used crushed mouse brains as toothpaste? What? How? I did not know that. That's dirty. I feel like I should have known that. I'm trying to think how they did that. I wonder why. Yeah. Did it, did it smell good? Did, uh, I are, don't know. Are mouse brains minty fresh? There are, there are some things I that I just want to know. How did this, how did that science start? Like, how did someone in the lab yeah. grab a rat and was like, Tupic. let me crack this motherfucker open. Yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me uh, put my finger in there and rub it on my hook and teeth. Right. Yeah. yeah. Maybe they used the crackhead. You never know. I don't know if they had crackheads back then. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't. I think that was. Uh, I think that started in the late seventies. That's that sounds like oh, a rare, right a rare Pokemon, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, if you consume carry out food on a regular basis, you will swallow about twelve pubic hairs a year. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fucked. <laughs> I saw a hair on my rice, man. I was like, uh, this is, uh, uh, well. Oh. You know, the, the way my life is going, I, I think I've done that already, you know, in the last couple of weeks. What, put pubic hair on food or eat pubic hair or eat food with pubic hair? I'm pretty sure I swallowed at least 12, 13 Ooh. pubic hairs in the last couple of weeks. I just, oh. The way my life is going. <laughs> is, this true? is this true? Because this is this is like, you know, I have I have a whole bunch of guys here. So it says here. The okay. average single male changes his sheets just four times a year, according to a 2019 survey. Oh, shoot. No, I I don't, at least. I only there change mine a, once a year. Yeah. yeah. I was say, I was like, <laughs> there's a period in your life where you probably don't remember when you ever did, I think. Mm. <laughs> I, um... Matter of fact, yeah, I think last year... I, I think I like just likes all my sheets. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I just like do laundry and just keep the same sheet. Just switch, you know, don't switch it out. Mm. Yeah. I mean, my bed was mat. So my bed's magic. It was so dope because like I would I would wake up out of bed. Right. And I'd go all about my day. You know, it was pretty awesome. But like whenever I'd go back that night into my bed, my bed changed its own sheets. Oh, you know oh. Yeah, like I don't know, I I don't understand. And like I put clothes in the laundry hamper, right? And then that shit would fill up. But then like I'd go to work or something, I'd come back and my clothes would be folded back in my drawers, bro. So like I I never had to. My whole house was just magical. Wow, it's like you had a mom or a girlfriend or something, right? No, no, that sounds like the Encanto house. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Hey, he might be in the future. That's mm-hmm. what it sounds like to me. He might be in the future. I have one more fact for y'all. All right, cool. Let's hear it. Did you know that male ladybugs can spend up to four hours mating with a deceased female ladybug before they realize that something is off? Four what? hours? Four hours? Yeah. That's some, that's some stamina right there. Shit. Jeez. Four hours? Damn. Without saying nothing? Without fluttering nothing? Like nothing? <laughs> there's, there's one animal out there that really impresses me. Uh, when it comes to mating, and that is turtles. Have you ever seen a turtle? <laughs> yeah, I know where you go with the yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? What do they do? They're like, ah. yeah, they and they they're slow, <laughs> so it takes a while. And like the males on top, and he just goes, ah, like and back, and just, <laughs> ah, and just like <laughs> turtles. Me, the whole jungle know. It's, it's pretty entertaining if you ever get the chance to watch it. Well, um, Stephanie, those were some uh, those were some great facts. I got to say, thank you so yeah. much for those. Um, Do you and, and you know, we're getting close to time here. Uh, so I, but I wanted to before we do our last minute plugs, I wanted to, of course, end it on a sports note since uh, G's our guest here. Um, G, I'm going to ask you some sports questions, and I'm going to see uh, I'm going to see how much you know. All right, Uh-oh. and I uh, you know this is we've done trivia before on this game, but this isn't really trivia. But this is how I think how it'll work. It I'll ask you the question, and if you don't know it, then you know Stephanie, Jimmy, and Chuck, of course, have a, a chance to answer it. But we'll just do a few questions, and then uh, we'll close out this episode. Um, are you ready? Ready. All right. This is the first question I got for you. The Olympics are held every how many years? Four years. That is correct. Of course. Yep. Nice. Easy one. All right. Next one. What sport is best known as the king of sports? Mm. That's tough. I would say, mm. damn, I would say soccer. Football. Soccer, soccer is correct. Good, good job. Yeah. Oh shit! It's like the most viewed sport too. Yeah, and it's the it's prominent world round. Um, this one, the, this one, I don't know. So, I, uh-huh. we'll see. We'll see. All right. What do you call it when a bowler? Makes three strikes in a row. A kingpin. No, no. Yeah, but, 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 let, let him answer first, and then everyone else, of oh. course, can have a chance. <laughs> three strikes in a row. Damn. Uh. I know, it's a tough one, because I don't Here? even know there were names for that in, like, bowling. Is it a spare? It is not. A spare, Ooh. I believe, is when you get most of them down, then you get the rest in the second try. No, uh, three strikes. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, everyone else has a chance to guess. I'm sorry. It's turkey. called it's it's called a turkey. Called a turkey, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Chuck yeah. and and uh, Jimmy are correct. I didn't know that. How'd you guys know that? Let's because just we've gotten them, them before when we went bowling. Let's do that game, and we'll go two on two. Yeah, and then we'll play sports teams. And we'll keep it kind of short, but we'll go two on two, and then we'll play for everyone right. You go forward a yard. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, let me write that. Okay. So who's Jimmy? Who's on your team? Uh, I'll take the host because. Or not the host, but I'll take our, our guest G over here. All right, so G and Jimmy are on a team, and then Stephanie and Chuck are on a team. All right, so this is how it'll work then. I'll write, so say I ask Jimmy and G a question, and you guys don't get it right, then I move that question over to Stephanie and Chuck, and then vice versa. That's how you want it to work? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's hear that uh, jingle for uh, Jimmy's game. <laughs> Oh, all right. So uh, let me get these questions up. All right. So um, who goes first? All right. Uh, nose goes. All right. So Jimmy's team goes first. Everyone else just sits there. All right. This is the first question. And uh, we'll uh, so you move up a yard, like like 10 yards, you mean? Yeah. So the first one, five questions, we'll go. We'll go 50 yards. We'll go halfway to the other side. OK, that. yeah, let's do 10 yards. All right. So. Stephanie and Jimmy. All right, cool. So, Jimmy and G, this is your question. What country has competed the most times in the Summer Olympics yet hasn't won a single gold medal? Damn. Yes. Is oh, it them uh, first? No, yeah, it's them first. And Stephanie, you know, we're going to do the honor system here. Stephanie, I see you're on your phone. I, I please do not look up Are these answers. Yeah, ahead. you know what? Let me see everyone's no. hands. So Stephanie, got you've gotten me. enough. You've gotten enough videos. I've seen you doing the TikTok or in the, in the Instagram. You've got enough. Let me see your hands. Chuck, let me see your hands. Let's see everyone's hands. You see my hands? 
No, cool. your screen is dark. In fact, I can't see you at all. <laughs> your, your screen is completely dark. I don't see you at all. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, man, I could see my video. Oh no, we can see you now, darling. Yeah, I know you're holding your hand with. I know you're holding your phone with the other hand, so that's fine, Chuck. I, that's fine. All right, so Jimmy and G, you guys talk it over. I'll give you fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Yeah, let's do fifteen. So seconds. it's definitely, it's definitely got to be a smaller country. Yes, that's what I was thinking. And it's definitely got to be like over in the Pacific area because Whoa. Europe, right? Like everybody else competes. So we're we're thinking like solo dolo. Five seconds. Philippines. Is that your final answer? Trinidad. The Philippines is correct. You move up 10 yards. Oh, shoot. Damn. Let's go! Damn. That was, <laughs> Very good. Good. That was, uh, that was <laughs> But see, that was good. The 15 seconds, even if you don't know it, you can break it down. That was probably a good assumption. Like, all right, it's got to be Pacific Islander. All right, cool. All right, well, now I'm going to move on to uh, Stephanie and Chuck. All right, this is uh, your question, guys. Stephanie, let me see those fucking hands. Okay, what <laughs> is the national sport of Canada? And although if you can't, if you guys don't get it right, also since it's trivia, then since we're doing like a football thing here, then Jimmy and G get a chance to intercept. And then same with them. If they don't get it right, you guys get a chance to intercept and then get your own yard. Okay. It's, it's, it's hockey. All right, you have 15 seconds. Is that your final answer? You both want to lock your team here. G uh, Stephanie, you want to go with that answer? Who's my teammate? Chuck. <laughs> oh. You forget I was on the cast? It's some bullshit. Well, I'm like, yeah, whatever you say. All right, hockey, hockey. is incorrect. Jimmy and G you get a chance to fucker. steal. <laughs> I say Canadian football. What's that? What's that sport with the fucking stick and the ball that they play oh. on? What's that? Lacrosse. Lacrosse. Because Canada is known for hockey, lacrosse, and bacon mm. and weed. You guys got five seconds. Really? So which one is that. it? I go with that. You want to go with lacrosse? Yes. Go, or we can go with Canadian football. Whatever that is. What is Canadian football? Soccer. It's All regular right. football. Oh, it's like I, regular football. All right, I need one. Which one are you guys regular going football. with? Football. All right. Regular football. That sucks so bad. You are wrong. It was lacrosse. Ah! You shouldn't have changed it. Ah! Go with your gut. Go with your gut. <laughs> it Go was like wrong. That was such Damn a good it. guess. Damn oh it. man, that Damn sucks. Damn it. All right. So, all right, Jimmy's Hold still on, at man. Jimmy. You're, yeah. What? Time out. No matter what the fuck you do or where you at, when you go and watch a hockey game, the fucking Canadian flag is in the arena. And I've been to all kinds of hockey games in Vegas, Jacksonville, fucking Chicago. God damn it, there's a, a Canadian flag in that motherfucker. I know. And they do the Canadian anthem at hockey games. I think because it was invented in Canada, but yeah, I would have guessed hockey too. I didn't I didn't know that answer. A lot of these I don't know. Um all right. Hockey well, you guys didn't get you guys didn't get the interception, but that's okay. It's your turn again uh right. for Jimmy and G, all right? So, this is the next question. The classic 1980 movie called Raging Bull is about which real life boxer? Oh, Stephanie, let me see that other hand. <laughs> it's here. Stephanie, so every time we do if, trivia, if Stephanie's like, <laughs> if it's if it's uh, our I'm turn, gonna, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, it's not. Wait, wait, wait! It's not your turn yet, Chuck. I'm only uh, gonna say this because you remember Jake Paul was boxing. Yes. And on TikTok, they would call him Jake Lamada or some shit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say Jake Lamada. I have no guess. I was just thinking of thinking about like I'll go with what you're saying. Because I, I had nothing, really. Five seconds. You got, you're got. you going with that, Jake LaMotta? Yeah. Yeah. Jake LaMotta is correct. Good job, what? guys. You move up 10 you yards. Go with your gut. Go with your gut. <laughs> <laughs> What's this trick you Yeah. Oh, no, no, I, my hands are up. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. All right. So now we're moving on again to Stephanie and Chuck. This is your question. Again, these are random. I know, so I'm sorry if some sound easier or harder. You know, this is just this is how the the rule of trivia goes. So here we go. Who who has won more tennis Grand Slam titles? Venus Williams, Serena Williams, or Lorana Williams? Who is this for? You guys. You guys. Yeah. Oh, you can you repeat the question? Who has won more tennis Grand Slam titles? Venus Williams or Serena v Williams or Lorana Williams? Serena. Chuck is, you guys are a team here. Are you both going with that? Come on, Chuck. Let's go. I love my teammate. Let's go. 
Serena Williams is correct. Good job, guys. You go. Ten Ten yards. All right. Yeah, I'm, by the way, I'm, I'm sorry about that one. I'm going to try to stay away from those questions that give you the answers it could be because then, like, the next team could just choose one of the options. So I'll try to stay away from yeah, those I was going to say that, but I was going to see what's up. I was yeah, just... sorry. Sorry about that. Um, All right. Whatever. I'm just jealous. All right. So, so for Jimmy and G, which boxer fought against Muhammad Ali and won? Easy. Frazier. What's his first name? What's his first name? Joe. There it is. So that's your answer? Joe Fraser, yes. That is correct. You move up 10 yards. Yeah. Job. All right. Next again, Stephanie and Chuck. You're on the field. All right. Which golf tournament did Tiger Woods win by 12 strokes, cementing his first ever major championship win? (laughs) What? What type of fucking question is that? Which golf tournament? I don't know, in 2000 fucking... No, 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 not when. Not No, it's, I'm not asking when. Which golf tournament? Like, so what's the name of the tournament? Did Tiger That's Woods PGA. win? Well, it's all PGA. PGA. Grand Slam? Mm-hmm. What? PGA. What it's, all, it's all PGA. But we can do two of these. The Masters or the fucking... Um, Let's Come go on, with the Chuck. Masters. Five, Let's five, the Masters. five seconds. Let's go with the Masters. All right, we got the Masters. It's is the that Masters. your final answer? Yeah. Yes. That is correct. You guys move up ten yards. Ah! Oh shit. <laughs> yes. Correct. Doug. All right. Again, this is for Jimmy and G. All right. Next question. How many medals did China win at the Beijing Olympics? So medals in general, not just gold medals. Medals in general. Okay. How many medals are you able to win? I, I actually, you know, I, I'm not going to answer any hint questions, but I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how many you can win. Oh, China. Damn. I would. What? Let's I just would... say a number. Okay. Ch- Chuck, can I see your screen, please? I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking like, in the 20 range. I'm, th- I'm thinking China's got a lot more people. I'm going to keep it a buck. Five seconds. Let's say 100. 100? I would say. 25. All right. I need an answer from you guys. I'll say 25. What's the team going with? He's the, uh, he's the guest. We'll go with the guests. 25 is incorrect. I'm sorry. Oh. All right. So now that question could possibly in- be intercepted by Chuck and Stephanie. Again, I'll ask you guys it again. How many medals did China win at the Beijing Olympics? They won eight. 12. Ooh. <laughs> Let's go with eight. 12? Let's go with yeah, eight? So, eight. so eight is let's your final eight. answer. Yeah, because they're not that great in fucking sports. Eight is incorrect. Uh, this is so sad. So you're both incorrect, but you should have gone with Jimmy's answer because the answer was 100. What? Really? Oh, man. I was, he was on the money, man. He was on the money with that. I was surprised. Oh. I was like, damn, he's going to get this right. <laughs> damn. Oh, Dynasty. They play with Dynasty. They come mm. back. Oh, Jimmy, right. Go play poker, man. You, got, you can read. You can guess. <laughs> go so good. Yeah. Play the lottery. Go yeah. play poker. All right. So again, but now this is uh, it is Stephanie and Chuck's turn again. Stephanie and Chuck in motor racing, what color is the flag they wave to indicate the winner? So the flag they wave like at the end of the race. Oh, I'm sorry, and I said that wrong. I'll reread it again. In motor racing, what colors is the flag they have? They wave to indicate the winner. There's more than one. Sorry. Why wouldn't it be white and black? It's a white and black checker. <laughs> okay, is that your answer? I want to say <laughs> it's white and white. All right, so w- which one are you guys going with? You said white and black. You're going white on white. How, how do you do white on white? <laughs> it's just white. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the two flags. Okay. Black and white. All right, five seconds. You guys got to, as a team black here, which one are you going white. with? Stop, stop. Black and white? All right. Black and white is correct. Move oh, up. So now we're tied. You're both at 30 yards on the football field. Wow. Son of a gun. All right. That's okay. We got plenty of questions to go. All right. Moving again to Jimmy and G. We got this. All right. How long is a marathon in miles? Don't give me feet. (laughs) Uh, I tried to train for a marathon, and I know it's around 25 or 26. I'm going with you, man. We're going to go 25K. I'm going to say this again, too. I'm sorry uh, to interrupt, but I'll, I'll and I ho- hopefully this isn't a hint, but I'm going to need the exact answer. Oh, 
20 he's, he's, he's giving us a hint. That way it's fair for everyone here. 26.2 miles. Oh. What? Is that your final answer? Because it's not technically a full mile at the last one. The last stretch is only like if you put it on a track, the last one would literally only like be that little that little <laughs> hook. So 26.2 miles. I'm never Jimmy, done. you are on the done. money. It is 26.2. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say I never did it, so I'm going with what you're going. (laughs) You guys are uh, you guys are good with your sports here. All right, um, Stephanie and Chuck, it's your turn again. If you get this right, stay tied. All right. In what game is the word "love" a score? Wow! In tennis, you son of a bitch. (laughs) Stephanie, you agree with that? Yep. That is correct. You guys move up forty yard line. (laughs) All right, next, next, next for both of you is the fifty yard. All right, let's uh, let's see what we got. So again, this is for uh, Jimmy and G. All right, in meters, okay. So in meters, how big is an Olympic size swimming pool? Oh shoot! Oh, well, and I'm- I would um. So for this question, I'm going to need how you know. We'll just the okay. Only- so, since it's big. I need how long and how wide as well. The reason I know this is because I was a command fitness leader and I wanted to swim my PRT. Man. <laughs> I'm lucky. I'm a lucky guy, man. Yeah, you got a lucky one. Have you on my team. I'm a lucky guy. I know for sure it's 50 meters, but it's also a rectangle. So I, so I need, I need, so I need the length and I need the width. So I'm going to cut that shit in half and I'm just going to say it's 25 meters wide, 50 meters long. Okay. G, do you agree? You were fitness. <sighs> yeah, I agree. Well, it's good that you agree because that is correct. You move up 10 yards. You mother. Hey, hey listen, you, you, you have to play the lotto tonight, man. Something. Yeah, he's doing good. We got, hey, man, it's Friday the 13th. Maybe you guys just got good luck. Maybe you got good luck on Friday the 13th. All right. Oh, throwing tomatoes. <laughs> I love this. All right. So moving on to Stephanie and Chuck. All right. On a baseball team. How many players are on the field? Oh. I want to, Chuck, I want to say eight. Don't forget the pitcher. And don't forget the catcher. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five seconds. I want to say eight. Don't forget the shortstop. Come on, Chuck, what the fuck? Are you forgetting the shortstop? All right, I need an answer from you guys. It's it's, it's, it's nine. It's nine. Don't forget the shortstop. You're going with nine? Okay, nine. Nine's your final answer? Yeah, because you have three outfielders left center right and then you have it's nine third, you're right the shortstop second baseman yes right. that nine yeah so i'm uh, sorry i was waiting for you yes you are correct nine, <laughs> nine is correct good job Chuck. so everyone's at the 50 yard line this is a this is a close this super bowl is a, this is a head to head this is a neck and neck man good job Chuck. Oh. <laughs> done i only right. know this because i played baseball and i played every position except for catcher i can't catch, i can't catch balls that fast all right, sorry. You can't uh, catch so, balls. So the next no. question for uh, Jimmy and G. Not not too many interceptions in this game, guys. You guys have been pretty pretty damn good. All right. Uh, so this question for you guys: A sporting event is held every year on Memorial Day. What is it? Mm, come on, bro. I know you know this. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Memorial oh. Day. What's the question? Hold on. It's not for you. I'll I'll repeat it again for you guys. Memorial Day. Damn. Yes, a sporting event I, is held veteran, every. I, the Veterans Memorial Day. Well, it's just there's only one more Memorial Day. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying like it's the big veteran thing. So what's the sport? It's got a uh, number five hundred. Uh, five seconds. Damn it. Something five hundred race. All right, time's up. I need oh, an answer. Ah! In it's a NASCAR thing. Indianapolis five hundred. It's over. Indianapolis five hundred is correct. You guys. Wow. Move Hey, I got you. I got your back, man. Next one. I got it. No, you said three seconds. I got the next one. No, 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 no. We cheating over here. No, Stephanie, he was he was saying it while I said it was over. He was saying it. No, 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 you 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 I'm not I'm not relax. Relax. Yes, you are. All right. Well, you have a chance to still tie. All right. You guys are still tied. Relax. All right. Right. Get real competitive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying the same way. I'm burning inside. So for uh, <laughs> Stephanie and Chuck. All right. Ooh, this is an interesting question. What number set is to the right of the number 20 
on a standard dartboard. Mm. Damn. So like what number is Can you to do that? So what what number so a dartboard right it's a circle. So 20s at the top. What number is to its right if wow. you were to throw the dart and it hit there? Chuck. Chuck knows. Chuck, Chuck has to know this. It's either 17 or 1. That's all I can think of. It's either 17. I don't or know. One. You got and we got a coin flip that one. Know. It's either seven. It's seventeen or one. Oh, dark. You got. All right. So what? What? What you want to go with? Seventeen or one? Five seconds. One. One. One is correct. Congratulations. Do that, that one. <laughs> I don't want to intercept that motherfucker right now. Wow. Love that. Love that. Oh, sixty man. and sixty. We. I, I. I hope this game doesn't go in overtime. Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now I need to know where what seventeen is at. This is, uh, I think 17 is actually close to the bottom, if I remember correctly. Um, all right. Well, Chuck, I'm sorry. You're going to have to look that up after the show because I got to look. I got I to see your screen. I, I got to make sure you're not going to look up this next question. Oh, God. <laughs> in case they don't get it wrong. Sorry. Okay. So no, for me. Jimmy and G, right? In what year were women allowed to compete in the modern Olympic Games? Where do we get all the hard questions? Um, women first started competing in was it volleyball no that was like no i i I would say yo tennis tennis okay no no what 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 year oh what year but people were kind of fucked up all the way even in like the roaring 20s like shit was it's gotta be nine five seconds 1900 the new millennial the new decade Oh, <laughs> All right, I need an answer. Is that your final answer? <laughs> Nineteen, and then, damn. So that's uh, your final answer. Nineteen eighty. I that wait. I, what's your final? I got to take it right now, or I got to give it to them. I say we go nineteen hundred, bro. Just start fuck it. Is that it? One okay, time. go ahead. Go ahead. Go go go. Yes. All right. Nineteen hundred is correct. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> Bro, what are you gonna do? That's about? fucking crazy, Jimmy. Jimmy, oh, yo, Jimmy. After this, Jimmy, Jimmy, do me a favor. After this show, can you go get a lottery ticket for yourself, please, man? Like, please. go get a lottery ticket for yourself. Do it, man. I'm going. Right. Man. You got the luck of the. You, you got the luck of the thirteen. Just, I don't believe that. Nineteen hundred, really. It's nineteen hundred exact, yeah, and I won the exact year. Yep. On the dot. They had no wow. they didn't even have any coordination like that in nineteen hundred. Did you did you see how they moved? <laughs> All right, well <laughs> Stephanie and Chuck, your question. Everything is, was in black and white. Like what do you <laughs> But they had tennis, bro? <laughs> Everything was in black and white, even life. Um so <laughs> Uh, your question though is similar. All right. So they said nineteen hundred. So the question for you guys though is so during that Olympics game in 1900, what sport was it that women were allowed to play? What sport women were allowed to play in the 1900s? In in the when they were first allowed into the Olympics in 1900, what sport was it that they played? And I'm saying sport. It's field. it's it's just one. It's just one sport. So it was track and field. <laughs> All right, is that? Are you guys going with that answer? Yeah. Oh my goodness! Track and field is incorrect. Jimmy <laughs> and G. Jimmy and G. Why are you clapping? I said incorrect. <laughs> no, because I was looking at my daughter. Oh, <laughs> oh, I, th- I thought she thought I said correct. He's an asshole. <laughs> uh, so that is incorrect. Jimmy and G have a chance to intercept, guys. Tennis. Yeah, we just talked about it. Tennis. Tennis is correct. You intercept. Suck us. Eighty yard line. <laughs> so Jimmy and G are at eighty yards. Stephanie and Chuck are at sixty. All right. Next question. Again, this is for Jimmy and G. All right. Basketball player Scotty Pippen has a word tattooed on his forearm. Damn. What what does it say? What does it say? Wow. Is this ours? Yeah. Oh, his name. Ooh. Pip. I was thinking about champion, but yes. His name. His name. Is that Scottie. your final answer? Which what, but say, say the say the word again. Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen. <laughs> so wait, but tell me exactly what you're going with. I need exactly. Scotty Pimpin. No, we're going with Pip. Oh, Pimpin. No, his Pimpin. last name? Pip. His nickname. Pip. Five seconds. Yes. We're going with that. Pip. All right, good. Yeah, that's correct. You motherfuckers. 90. You are All right. He's not even a Bulls fan. Hey, please play the lotto. Please. Yeah. Somebody. <laughs> who's over there? Who's? No, no, no. 
Somebody's on the other side. Of <laughs> now everyone's like, getting. Hey, you guys nah, see that, that, that SpongeBob episode? Vine is helping. You guys ever watch SpongeBob? You guys see the SpongeBob episode where he was trying to learn how to drive? Yeah. Someone's from the all the way somewhere. The There's no. Who, who? I got somebody feeding me the info. <laughs> I'm in here. I got the I got the bottle in hand over here too, man. He's not even good looking or anything to, for people to be studying his tattoos. Who 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 knows this? <laughs> I don't know, man. Me, I know this. All right. Some bullshit. All right. So very moving, much so. I'm sorry. Moving on to Stephanie and Chuck. All right. You guys got to be careful because they have a chance to intercept and they could win the game. So let's score some points for you guys and hopefully they get hard ones that they can't answer. All right. Ask me what color was burning. <laughs> <laughs> so for <laughs> Stephanie and Chuck, what is the only sport to be played on the moon? What was the only sport that was played on the moon? Yep. I, I don't come. fucking know. Chuck? Long jump. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that your final answer? Oh shit! What do you say? A long jump. I didn't hear it. What do you say? Long jump. Is that your final answer? <laughs> is that your final answer? I did. Yeah. Is... yeah. <laughs> All right, that is incorrect. So, sense, though. Jimmy and G have a chance to intercept here. What sport was the only sport played on the moon? They were all white people. <laughs> so you might as well. I have no idea, bro. You might as well just say a white sport. A uh, white sport. Uh, 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 I'm just gonna guess, man. I'm gonna guess this one. <sighs> Damn it! I say basketball on the moon. Five seconds. Where's the ball gonna go? <laughs> yeah, really. Where did that at? <laughs> <laughs> How they gonna bounce that motherfucker? All right, five seconds are up. I need an answer. Soccer. <laughs> Soccer's incorrect. On the moon? Soccer is incorrect. I'm sorry. So no one gets that point. The answer was golf. Ah. Uh, Okay, that makes, on the moon? That yeah, makes sense. Like, that's wild. Where the ball going to go? You're right. <laughs> well, that's okay because it's uh, your guys' turn. What about that? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know who did that. It's your turn. That's yeah, it's so Jimmy and crazy. G's turn. And if you guys get this question correct, you win the game. So you're at the 90-yard line. So this is for the touchdown. Let's go. All right. In which sport are the terms stale fish and mule kick used? Wow. Is, um a skateboard move. Yeah, skateboard. Well, is that I your won't... final answer? No. Yes. No. No. It's a it's a move, but that's you can't t- you know tail you sailfish you can't do that shit. By the way, it's it's stale fish, not sailfish. Not tailfish. No, stale like your food is stale. A mule kick is so it's stale fish and mule kick. You got five mule, seconds. Mule mule fish is snowboarding for sure a mule kick is a snowboarding move for sure stale fish all right i need an answer snowboarding snowboarding is correct you guys win the game congratulations get out the house <laughs> do this quick get off my show hey let me ask you did you say did you say kick flip was the second no or? it was it was stale fish is the first term and mule kick is the second he said tail fish so i'm thinking like you know cruising on a skateboard you go you know what i'm saying or i see what you're saying Matt, yes but a mule kick is for sure no all right guys that was a great game that was a great sports game i'm sorry though we were way over time let's uh we gotta we gotta fucking i'm sorry it's that sad 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 time we gotta fucking wrap this up but congratulations to you guys both you did very well that is the trivia games we have losers we have winners i'm sorry that's just how it goes with any sports game but yeah so don't be too mad all right but moving uh you know uh to everyone here every every great person that's here uh let's start with you stephanie you got any last minute plugs for listeners i don't like you guys oh, okay <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I don't really have anybody to shout out, so I'm going to just shout out myself. So shout out to Stephanie for being the best mother ever, even though I curse my kids out sometimes, you know, whatever, but it is what it is. And um, shout out to the roaches. Shout out to the donkeys. The roaches? Shout out to the goats. Yeah. Shout out to the goats because I like goat cheese. So shout out to them. <laughs> Are you having an aneurysm? What's going on? Are you okay? What do, what do you mean? Shout out to the goats. <laughs> You know, because goat cheese. I like goat cheese in my salad. So shout out to them. And thank you, G, for hopping on this episode today. Um, And thank you, Chuck, as well, for hopping on and being an incredible freaking co-special host. And um, 
buy our motherfucking merch. I'm sick and tired of saying this shit every motherfucking episode. Buy our merch. I want to see our followers, our listeners in our motherfucking merch. Please and thank you. And also, please subscribe to freaking Lookout Sports. Please and thank you. <laughs> and um, you know, follow me on Instagram, follow me on motherfucking TikTok. Y'all already know the handles. I fucking love and appreciate all of y'all gang, 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 gang. And that is my motherfucking name from the Puerto Rican Mamacita from Spanish Harlem. All right. That was for interesting facts at first, and then they got back, they got back into the rhythm at the end. So thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> um and of course to the left of my computer screen, uh Jimmy, my friend, you got any last minute plugs <laughs> for listeners? Yeah, man. I do want to give some love, man. I really want to shout out to uh, you know, people that are just kind of staying in tune with the great morning so what i want to do is i just want to show some appreciation man and throw out some of their instagram handles all right hell yeah some people that liked our last post man we really appreciate you guys um you know stopping by and liking so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shout out some of these some of these uh wait should we really be giving their handles out (laughs) why not their names shout out to my sister samantha shout out to eyes shall willie Shout out to Big Green <laughs> Hazy, Patrick Hayes, a.k.a. the CEO of Forest Show Co. Shout out to Old Soul Wild Spirit. I hope you're doing good out there and hope everything's blessed. With, oh, we got to uh, get her back on. The way that, you know, that van life is going. Shout out to Deja Vu. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a loyal one. Deja! Deja, Deja Vu, man. We see you. Aggie8229, we see you. Thank you so much, man. So shout out to y'all. O'Shea, of course, always at the top man showing love. And uh, shout out to that Christian Merms guy. Um, fuck that guy oh, man. <laughs> follow me on Instagram at slightly special with two L's on the end they already said it man you guys can already go cop that merch uh, let's stay tuned shout out to Top Ranks Entertainment tonight he's gonna give me the opportunity to go get some video work in and uh, shoot an event called Lavish downtown tonight so right after this nice. we'll for that man so big ups man big blessings man shout out to the homies out on deployment right now shout out to the whole Triple E I hope y'all boys and ladies get back safe and we really appreciate you guys. We do this for you. Yes, Thanks. we do. Great last minute plugs, my friend. And of course, to our special guest co-host, uh, the man who's, you know, th- thank you so much for coming on, man. You're always, uh, you've been so mu- so fucking helpful this uh, season. I really appreciate it. Uh, Chuck, you got any last minute plugs? Yeah. Uh, you know, follow us on Instagram. Tell past <laughs> Ken. See some things. If you can catch us out in uh, doing some stand-up comedy, I'll be on and uh, posting out some plugs on where we'll be at. Telling jokes and such. Back in a row, baby. <laughs> oh, I hope on stand-up comedy. I know. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> All right, man. Great. Great last minute plugs. And then my last minute plugs before we get into our honored guest are of course uh you can follow uh me on Instagram, my personal that's Christian Merms. It's open to the public right now, but I will close it when the season is over. So get there right now. Um, because I don't like accepting just anyone. Um, you can follow uh, Trip God Jimmy. That is T R Y P G O D J I M I. You can follow these great people. That is Topaz Kin. That is slightly special with two L's at the end, and that is you love Steph. Uh, you can follow Steffi underscore underscore zero on TikTok. You can follow Great Morning underscore the podcast on TikTok. You can follow Great Morning underscore the podcast on Instagram. Um, and oh, and be on the lookout May twenty second. All right, May twenty second. That is when our three year anniversary spectacular will be dropping. That is our uh, second special of the season. So please stay tuned for that. That is going to be a lot of fun. We got a lot of great stuff for you guys on there. Um, we're not going to give it away here. We don't want to spoil it for you. But we got a uh, we got something different, something really different that we haven't tried before. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, check that special out, of course. And then of course, you know, always uh, go to shopgreatmorning.com. Again, to shopgreatmorning.com. And guess what you can do there. You can shop for Great Morning stuff at shopgreatmorning.com. So go ahead, get yourself a sweatshirt, get yourself a shirt, hat, whatever whatever you fancy. Go ahead, buy it. And you know what? If you hit up uh, Stephanie and I with, uh, you know, one of your, you know, one of your favorite parts of this episode, um, or just like maybe even a quote from this episode or whatever, you hit us up in the DMs, maybe Stephanie and I will uh, we'll send you that uh, that fucking promo code, you know? Get, get yourself a little percentage off there. So, uh, you know, go ahead and do that, you know, to everyone that uh, listens at the end. I know sometimes when plugs come up, everyone's like, all right, the podcast is over, and they just turn it off. So, you know, so go ahead and, uh, you know, remind yourself of that. Get yourself that promo code. Again, that is shopgreatmorning.com. But anyway, that is my last-minute plugs. Those are everyone's last-minute plugs. But, of course, we're going to move into our honored guest here. G, you got any last-minute plugs for listeners? Where can they go and follow you? Where can they go see pictures of you wait, 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 wait. <laughs> give it all give it all right here man thank you again for coming on as well but please give us your last minute plugs i want to thank each and every one of you guys steph i want to thank you 
um, you know, for allowing me to come on. A hey, guys, I I kept telling Steph, hey, please let me jump on the podcast. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I honestly had fun. Honestly, did great podcast. Thank guys, you. Follow them on every platform. Get your merch. Um, you guys can find me at uh, Lookout Sports, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, uh, wherever you guys get your podcast. And um, hey, just be on the lookout. Who knows what I'm going to drop in season two? So yeah, be on the lookout for Lookout Sports. Look out! Ew. Hey man, thank you again, man, for yeah. just making the time to come come join yes. us. Definitely an honor. It was yeah. one of the fun ones. Thank you. Sure. A lot of fun, man, and we'd love, uh, we'd love to, uh, yeah, we'd love to have you on again because uh, you know sports oh, are fun. To, uh, sports are fun for me, at least. I would love to, man. Thank you. Talk to this guy, like he's got a YouTube channel on Lookout Sports. You guys need to check that out, man. I heard in one of the intros, you yeah, said episode ninety. So that's a big deal, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Episode. Uh, Congratulations to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, epi- thank you so much. Yeah. Episode ninety nine, and I'm just trying to get uh, my blood brother on the last season. So it could be episode 100 and we close season one out. Hell yeah. It's a good way to close it out for the season. All right, man. Well, thank you so much for your last minute plugs. And thank you again for coming on. It was an honor uh, hosting you here. And, uh, you know, guys, that was our episode. Great morning. 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 Great morning.